On a serious note, we're replacing the grill because the rubberized paint on it is starting to peel off and it looks ugly and tacky. So we might as well replace the whole thing with something fancier. I mean, you know what? Grills coming off. We need new grills, yo. So some of my original recordings audio was a little messed up so I have to re-record some of the segments on this video. So pretend that the grill is still on the car and I'm gonna record the intro right now. Hello and welcome to Haro Helen where you learn something different every day. In this episode, we will be replacing the grill on this 2008 Infiniti G37. To access the bolts on the back of the grill, we have to first remove the top cover or top plastic cover. So we gotta take out this plastic panel, yo, and there's a lot of 10 mils holding it in place. So before you remove them, spray them with WD-40 so they don't break off. Yo. We don't need no bolts breaking on us, yo. So while we soak the 10 mils, let's take off the plastic retaining clips on front. The plastic clips are a two-piece plastic retainer clips. So take the top off first with a flathead screwdriver or a pick tool, then take off the bottom. So start with separating the top, pop it up, then remove the whole thing as a unit. Remove the whole thing as a unit. Remember, you gotta pop up the top first, then pull the base out. Do not force it out without popping the top first. So after removing the plastic retainer clips in front, pretend that this is gone because this is the re-recording, we now have to remove the 10mm bolts holding the plastic cover on place. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight that we need to remove. And now we're going back to the original recording when I removed them. To remove the plastic cover, we have to shift it backwards, then upwards. But the coolant expansion tank is in the way, so we have to move this first. There are two 10mm bolts holding the expansion tank, so we need to remove them. Here is the original video when I moved the coolant expansion tank. So before removing the plastic panel, there is this cable that comes from the right side to the left side. And behind the plastic panel, it has some retainer clips like this that clips itself on the plastic panel. So when you move this up later, you need to remove those clips at the back of the plastic panel carefully. To remove the plastic cover, we have to shift it backwards, then upwards. Here is the original recording on removing the plastic panel. Okay, here are one of the plastic retainer clips that's clipped on the plastic cover, so you just have to pinch it to release it. Now later, don't forget to put it back. And here's more. Pinch. Pinch. And push. And here's the cable that I mentioned earlier. This one you have to pinch from the front, but let's check the other plastic retainer clips that's holding the plastic cover in place.
here's more on the other side pinch and push pinch and push okay here's two more pinch and press pinch and press okay this is from the top view this is the radiator engine and this part is the front of the vehicle this is the cable that i was telling you about earlier so just use a long nose to pull out the retainer clips for the cable right so that came out fast okay then this is the metal plate that we have to clear when we remove the cover so just pull it out and be careful not to break anything make sure there's no more container clips that's clipped on the plastic cover oh there's one more sorry so pinch and push oh let me with this so you can see it pinch and push and it's out it's out now we can see the back of the grills move the cables and cables aside so we can look for the bolts or nuts on the grill so in removing the current grill, it might be hard to record because of the space that we have and I can't angle the camera correctly. So as reference, here's the new grill and let me show you where the nuts and bolts are. There's two bolts on each side and they are held up by two 10 millimeter nuts, then one on top. And with that, there's also tabs, locking tabs that you need to press inward to release it from where it is. All right, I'm gonna try to record it, but if I don't capture everything, my apologies in advance. Okay, we're behind the passenger side and here's bolt number one and bolt number two. Okay, left is loose. Oh. Oh. I'm hoping I'm capturing this because I can't really see. And there's nut number one. There you go. And it's out. Let's go on the other side. Okay, next we're on the driver's side, so here's one on top, and there's the one at the bottom. We're gonna start with the bottom first because it's the harder one. Huh, it's loose. Is it? Yeah, it is loose. Alright, it's loose, yo. That's surprising. One, don't lose it. Now, where's the top? The horn is in the way. Oh, it's loose also. That's surprising. So here's the center bolt, but there's no nut in it. So either someone replaced this before or this just loosened and fell off. So we don't have to remove that anymore. Now we're going to go to the tabs. With the tabs, you have to push the center inward so it's not holding on to the grill. And you can push it in to loosen it. So this one, I'm using a pick tool to press it in. There you saw it move, I'm hoping, then push it in and it's going through so we're gonna do that with all the other tabs 
There's one. There's the last one. With the last tab out, just pull it off, and there you go. For better demonstration, this is what we need to press down and it releases on the grill. Press and push out. Press down and push out. Noise! Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the old OEM grill and the new CDM grill, China Domestic Motoring, made in China. I'm so proud of that. So let's put on the new grill. Now since we have the grill out, might as well clean the grill area because you never know when you're gonna be removing this again. Doesn't have to be perfect, but at least clean out the excess dirt on it. Okay, that's good enough for now. Let's put in the new grill. Position the new grill and slide it in, just like the old one. You know, because it is China, it might not align perfectly, but it should fit. But wait, there's more! Nismo emblem, yo! We need to be legit. We need to be a street racer. This gives us some street cred. So we're gonna put it here. And it should add 5 horsepower, yo! Alright, so it came with all the tools that you need. Tread in the treads. Slide it in, you all. All right, it's a little crooked. Nope. Maybe here. Nice. All right, we'll settle with that. Okay, bear with me. I don't remember how to do this thing. It's not a legit racer yet. One here. Here. Oops. Over here, I think. Nope. It's not it. Nope. Nope. Let's do this again. Alright. It's good enough. So put the washers at the back to keep it in place. There you go, washer one. Round washer and nut. Oh my goodness, that's a long thread. Ta-da! Five horsepower! Well, let's hide the back first. Embarrassing. Okay, again. Ta-da! Five horsepower, y'all! Wow. Nice! Okay, it's time to put back the nuts so that the grill doesn't fly out. We're gonna start with a driver's side upper nut. Okay. Then put in the lower nut. Make sure you tighten it up. Don't over tighten because it might break the plastic. As you know, plastic grills are prone to breaking if you over tighten it. 
just get it snug right bottom nut passenger side and bottom bolt now if you recall the center bolt doesn't have a nut so we're gonna leave it as is but eventually I'm gonna look for a nut for it okay the actual hard part of this project just putting back the plastic cover I'm gonna position it first that it's ready to slide in then I'm gonna put the clips for the cables and wires all right we're gonna need to slide it in on this metal frame first which I guess I can bend it backward like this and slide it on top there you go nice Almost in. Then you gotta bend the horn just a little bit. There you go. Boom. All right. All right, let me switch the camera so you can see the back part and we can put the cables in. All right, for the cable, one. Or just for reference, the cable goes under the middle part also. So if you missed it, you gotta force it in. Try not to break anything. There you go. Right. Clip for the cable number two. There you go. Okay, we're gonna start with the passenger side clips. Now on the driver side. And last one, let's move it. There you go. Last one. Now let's wiggle this back in place. Let's hope we don't break anything. There you go. I remember you gotta push backward then lock it in place then push inward or outward or forward Ta-da! make sure all the holes are aligned if it's not then try again nice Okay, they're aligned. So start by hand tightening the 10 millimeter bolts.
Now don't forget to put back the coolant expansion tank. Tighten down the box. Now let's put in the plastic retainer clips. Make sure that you put the base in first, like that, then pop the top in. Base first, pop the top in. And boom, we're done. Yes, yes. And that is how to replace the grills on this 2009 Infiniti G37, how to hell in style. Peace of cake.